Good morning, dear hearts. We are now on lesson 39, and please subscribe. This is um, our fourth lesson about holiness, our holiness. And today's lesson is, my holiness is my salvation. We already were introduced to this idea in lesson 37, that your holiness is the salvation of the world. This is going to expand on that idea. Um, and it will deal with that word salvation as well. Because it's not a word that everyone uh, finds warm and fuzzy. There are many, many that I've encountered over my years of doing this that have a real trigger for that word. But the lesson begins, and it's a, it's a phrase that is used multiple times throughout it, that if guilt is hell, what is the opposite? And then it tells us, you know, to, to think about that because it really isn't that difficult of a question. And it tells us that, you know, the, the lessons like the text, it's all very clear and totally unambiguous. A Course in Miracles is not cryptic. It doesn't try to hide meanings from us. It's very direct. It's very direct in the, the text, the, the work, workbook lessons, the manual for teachers, very direct easy to understand if we read it, not so easy to understand if we don't. But it goes on to say, so, so what is the opposite? It's, this is not really a complex question, but we are dealing only in the very obvious, which has been overlooked in the clouds of complexity. And here's a wonderful favorite line. The clouds of complexity in which you think you think. Remember, we will learn. We haven't quite yet. It hasn't been uh, given to us in a direct form yet, but it will be that unless we are thinking with God, we are not thinking at all. So it's what I think I think is when I'm thinking with the ego, and in truth, I'm not thinking at all. But I think I am. <laughs> I think I am. So um, if guilt is hell, what is the opposite? And again, this is not difficult, surely. But then it says, but do you believe that guilt is hell? If you did, you would see at once how direct and simple the text is, and you would not need a workbook at all. And this is, again, now something that is mentioned multiple times throughout the, the text and in the workbook, that we don't need to study what we already know. What we know, what we have received, what we know to be true, the truth, we don't have to study to learn the truth once we know the truth. It's ours. But if I don't believe that my holiness is my salvation, and not only mine, but for the world as well, then it doesn't make sense to me. And I do need a workbook to help my mind learn that that indeed is the truth. I'm going to read paragraphs three and four because I think they're very important. And um, not that the rest of the lesson isn't, but I think three and four um, will help with a lot of clarity with this lesson. Now it says, we have already said that your holiness is the salvation of the world. That was lesson 37. What about your own salvation? Now, let's that word salvation, as I said, it's a trigger for many. I have many, many times in my classes substituted the word freedom for salvation, and that works perfectly. My holiness is my freedom, and it's not just my freedom, but it's the freedom of the world. So we have already said that your holiness is the freedom of the world. What about your own freedom? You cannot give what you do not have, something that, again, to give and to receive or one in truth. I cannot give you what I do not have. And this is a law that happens to be true both in this world and in the real world. I can't give you this pen if I don't have this pen. A savior must be saved. How else can he teach freedom? How else can he teach salvation? Today's exercises will apply to you recognizing that your salvation, your freedom, is crucial to the salvation or the freedom of the world. As you apply the exercises to your world, 
the whole world stands to benefit. This is very directly like what I'm always speaking of to my classes. I've said it here many times, the pebble in the pond. My salvation at will, the rings of that pebble that I throw into that pond of my salvation for my freedom will float out, expand out. Everyone will receive the benefit of my freedom, my salvation. I, our minds are joined. I cannot experience it if you do not. We must share. Again, what I give, I receive. I'm giving it to you that I may have it back. It is a circular motion. We could call it the boomerang effect. Your holiness is the answer to every question that was ever asked, is being asked now, or will be asked in the future. Your holiness means the end of guilt. If guilt is hell, what is its opposite? The end of guilt and therefore the end of hell. Your holiness is the salvation, the freedom of the world and your own. How could you to whom holiness belongs be excluded from it? God does not know unholiness. Can it be he does not know his child? Of course not. Every parent knows their child. So the practicing, and I'm not going to go deeply into that, but it is uh, 20 minutes, four, five minute at least sessions, practice periods. Of course, it's going to be hourly as well. And this time, not just hourly, but three or four times an hour to repeat that my holiness is my salvation. Um, because it is, we're, we need to get to training our untrained mind. An untrained mind is not sustainable. And this lesson speaks of the fact that, you know, our minds are still not trained. Our, our minds are still filled with thoughts that are not to our benefit. But I just want to say in, for, in the lessons, uh, the practicing, it says, then with closed eyes, repeating today's idea, go in, close your eyes, search out your unloving thoughts in whatever form they appear. Uneasiness, depression, anger, fear, worry, attack, insecurity, so on. Whatever form they take, they are unloving and therefore fearful. There is only love or fear. If my thoughts are unloving, then they are fearful. That's what I need to know. I Again, I try to minimize it by saying I'm uneasy. My uneasiness is just a soft way of me saying I'm afraid. And again, I just want to speak of the salvation of the freedom for the world. Salvation always again reminds me, you'll hear me say it often because there's a lot about salvation in the, in the workbook. It is that bomb, that the root word, salve, is a bomb. It's something that is placed on a wound to help it heal. The salvation of the world is the way in which the world will heal and will therefore be free. Um, just to, in doing the lessons, repeat that uh, in the practicing that my unloving thoughts, my fearful thoughts, you can say that, about blank, fill in the blank, or keeping me in hell. My holiness is my salvation. My holiness is my freedom. And again, if guilt is hell, what is the opposite? And end your practicing and say as many times as you remember during your day, during each hour, my holiness is my salvation from this whenever there is anything that is disturbing your peace. We are either in peace or we are not. No, no gradations of that. So I hope this helped. Please like, please share, please subscribe, please comment. Please be here tomorrow. And um, it is uh, a beautiful lesson and we're getting into another one of my faves. Namaste.